हेलो क्रेजी गोडोज वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ आर न्यू सीरीज ऑन पाइथन जी यू आई प्रोजेक्ट विथ टी किंटर इन दिस वीडियो विल क्रिएट अ सिंपल यूनिट कन्वर्टर विच विल लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस इट विल हैव अ ड्रॉप डाउन मेन्यू विथ यूनिट्स एंड इट विल हैव एन इनपुट बॉक्स एंड इट विल हैव एन आउटपुट एरिया इट विल हैव टू बटन वन कन्वर्ट एंड सेकेंड क्लियर so let's try to create this before starting to code let's try to understand how we create a gui application with the tkinter module so the first thing is we will import it after that we will create a main window then we will add our appropriate required widgets to the main window then after the completion of adding all the widgets required then we enter into the main event loop which is basically allows uh, the application to have an user interaction until the user closes the window so that was the workflow moving ahead these uh, we have various widgets uh, in the tkinter library uh, framework uh, some of them are label button entry combo box check button radio scroll text spin box menu bar notebook and there are many more and we will use uh, many other in our upcoming projects so, but in this in this project we will use label button entry and we will also use an option menu for displaying the menu and to place the widget on our screen there are various ways which is place pack and grid in this projects we will use the grid layout to place the widgets which allows us to place the widgets in a table like structure uh with the help of row and column parameters and others are there we might use a place and pack uh, type of placing uh, in upcoming projects now let's head towards our ide which is vs code and let's start coding i already created a new python file and named it unit converter gui.py and the first thing we have to do is import tkinter we'll do that from tkinter import all all the classes uh, that are in tkinter will be imported into a file and after that we have to create our window for that we just have to create our object of tk class so i will name my uh, window as root and i will just in instantiate the tk class so this will create a window and the window will be stored in root now let's enter into main event loop which can be done through main loop function as i mentioned that what this function does is it allows our application to be on for the user interaction until it closes so now let's save this file and let's run it a window has been created so as you can see this tk is here we can change it by using the title function Let's do that. And all the things we have to add to our screen will be between the the window and the main loop. So now let's keep adding our widgets. Okay, the first thing, uh, let's get item. We can use this function. So I will keep it unit converter. Okay. Now after this, yes, I want to add the menu. Okay, before adding the menu, I want to create a list of all the units I want to add. So units will be the list. So I will keep it simple. That's why I have used only three units. You can add more units and make it a little bit complex. But just for learning purpose, I am using only three units of distance. Okay. Now after this, the first thing I will say, let's create a menu, and I will name variable name menu. But the data type will be special one, which will be a string word. So why I'm using a string word data type? Actually, string word is a class you can take into, and basically using a string word data type in take into widgets allows us. Uh, for easy retrieval of user input so the actually this menu has menu variable which is a string bar has set and get basically so when you enter something using a widget it will automatically get stored to it and then we can retrieve the stored information in this variable using get function so that's it and let's create our menu so to add a menu we have option menu widget now it takes first thing what it takes is it's a window which is root and after that it takes a string word and then third it will take a uh, units so there's two ways you can pass the units first is display or otherwise uh, you can pass it like this both ways works but you know this is more readable we have already created the list of units and you are just passing it with the stars so it will automatically uh, convert into what we <coughs> what we had initially okay it will automatically convert like this so that's great now now after creating the menu we have created our option menu 
and stored it in uh, option menu widget and stored it in drop menu but now we have to place it on the screen for that as i already said we will use a grid so drop menu dot grid and uh, in grid layout you have to you know place the widgets in table structures so you have to assign a row and columns for this as this is the first widget on the screen we will give column and row one so now let's see actually how it is let's run it so as you can see a drop down has been created and it will it has the millimeter centimeter and meter values and we can select it. but as you can see when i run it it's empty so now let's not keep it empty let's give it something so as i said menu has set function so you can set method which we can assign it initially as well so i'll keep it a millimeter so by this we'll have a default value of the widget so that's great now let's create another one so i'll just copy paste so i'll just name it menu 2 menu 2 drop down 2 then drop down 2 but this time uh, it will be the first row and second column let's save it and then so as you can see we have both the menus ready which is both the drop downs ready then now we move on to the input box so for input there is an entry widget i will store it in input variable and entry widget also takes the first thing which is our root and it takes a lot of parameters but now uh, let's keep it simple and again i have to place this so i will use the grid and now this time the row will be two and column will be one okay save it and let's run yeah our entry is added that's cool uh, now the next thing we have to do is output area so for output we'll use the label widget and so it also takes root which is like window right where you're placing this widget it's the first parameter you have to provide so now again we have to uh, use the grid layout with row 2 but column 2 again okay let's save it let's run it okay we have the label but color is same that's why we are unable to see okay, let's uh, add a border width i'll keep it far and relief will be solid so now actually this will add a solid border and with the pixel fast so let's save it let's run it okay it's there that is something that i want so i will increase the width of this label to 20. okay now let's run it okay, it was previous one yeah we are getting a uh, border with 5 pixels right i know that it is too much i think yeah now it looks good now let's move ahead for budget so now so we have now i'll store it in button convert so now for the button also there is a simple button widget which you provide a root that is a window and you can provide text which will be displayed on the button so yeah this is like convert and again we have to as said we have to brace it and this time the core row is third and the column is one again so let's save it run so yeah our button has been created okay now the next is so we'll have clear and for that same procedure we have to do add the window we have to add the text and this time text will be clear and by placing it we have to use the grid and the row will be third and column will be two okay row will be third so now save it let's run okay our ui is at perfect let's uh, make it better so in the entry widget uh, i think font is very low so i will increase some font for that we have to use font uh, parameter but just like this and we can add a lot of things about the fonts but i will only add the size i'll save it I'll run okay now i get a uh, better so yes now we are done we have the drop down menus we have an input area we have an output area we have two buttons now let's add the functionalities to this buttons okay so to add a functionality to, to a button we just have to use the command parameter in the button widget and we have to provide it the function name the command is equal to convert can okay, create a function in convert but okay for time being it will show another because we haven't yet created it so now for clear so now let's quickly create a function first i will create the clear function since it's very easy so as you know we have we use def keyword to create functions and we use parentheses and also use 
colon to indicate the intention. So the first thing, uh, basically what we have to clear, that's important. We have to clear the input and output. So input is an entry and we can clear an entry by getting input, which is where we stored this widget, input dot delete. And we have to provide two things. One is index, which we want to delete and we provide it end. Okay. Now we have to provide end in as a string. Okay, now good, that's good. Now we have also uh, clear the label. So for that, what we do is in output, which where we store the widget, output.config, and here we can provide text. Text will empty, right? Now let's check if our function is working or not. Okay, now let's save it and let's see if our clear function is working or not. So I will input some numbers and I will see how it is it's working. It will work for the output area as well. Now let's create a convert function. It will take whatever given in the input and appropriately it will convert from selected uh, menu parameters. Okay, I think there is an error. They are showing the same. I think I have used the same variable. Okay, see. In the drop down two menu, instead of using the menu two, I have used the menu one. So that's actually there is an advantage of copying. You actually forget to change all the parameters. So here as I change now, let's run it. Yeah, now I can select both individually, right? So I can select anything. So now let's create a convert function. Let's do it. So yes, convert. Def convert and we're not taking parameters. The first thing I want to do is take the the unit which is selected in the drop down. So I will store it in the unit one. And to get what is selected in the menu one, you just have to use menu dot set. So this will sorry, not set get this will give us the menu this will give us the unit selected in the menu one which we have declared which we have mentioned in the option menu in option menu widget and which i stored in the drop menu one so you can get whatever user has selected using the menu dot get and in the second menu we can also get same way but i will store it in your unit two and menu two dot get so we have got both units now we are since it is uh, we are taking input from the user and calculating something it's very likely that sometimes user might input the wrong things in valid inputs for that we will use a try except block so it is very good habit of try using try except block since uh, the calculation is based on user input and user can input some strings or some other invalid input so let's try to do that try except for timing i will first code the except block because it's easy basically you just have to Okay, in the output area, you just have to, you know, uh, display that it is an invalid input. Invalid input. Okay, that's great. Now, in the try part, basically, you have to get whatever is in the entry. Okay, uh, I will, like, you know, create a num variable and I will store the input, which I can get to input.get. Basically, what input is, input is our entry widget, uh, which is where a user will enter a number and we can get the number using the input get function in the of the entry widget so that's good now let's continue ahead basically what we will doing as so input will be string so let's convert into an int for safety purpose and if we are unable to convert it into int then it will throw an error and uh, it will run the code in the accept block which is it will display invalid input in our uh, output uh, area which is our label widget okay that's cool now i will add towards my github github of crazy, crazy coders so that i can use our previously created code while we were creating a unit converter command line so let's add towards our account and repository of python projects where it is unit yes unit converter here now yes this is the code i want we are really checking like Okay, cool. Now I will just paste it here. So if you want to know about this code, then you surely check out a previous video. But basically, what I'm doing is I am just uh, just just checking out all the combinations that we can be possible with all three units. So if it's millimeters electron or centimeters. Electron. So here I've used a small one. So I will change it. So now the unit one. And you need to and the num okay so that's great and after this all the calculations so basically i'm doing in this code block is if unit one is and unit two is this then use this formula for the answer otherwise use this otherwise use this 
and if none of them so if user select same on both the none of condition will work so for that i will uh, create the same variable converter now and i will store it as now because if the user uh, enters same unit on both sides then converter now will be remaining same as the mentioned now so now we're moving ahead after the calculation the only thing i have to do is i have to update the output area with, as i said config text on, and what is in the text which is str and converter now so let's see how our code is working so okay if i don't convert so i think it's displayed here i think this is being displayed okay let's clear what's the issue Output.config. Okay. Okay. We have not given the convert button the capability, sorry, functionality. So yeah, what we have to do is just convert. Okay. Here yeah, it should be comma. Now let's see how it's working. Okay. One, two, three. I've selected the same on both, and yes, it's one, two, three. And also, the font here is a little bit too small. You can alter it uh, by using the font. Uh, parameters okay now let's clear both yeah it's working now let's clear i will use centimeter here and i may use meter here and convert one meter to centimeter which will be 100 yes for us it's working so that was it from this video we have learned all the basic widgets and some of the ui techniques which is missing the grid format so that was it from this video uh, we'll catch you up in the next one